Kiki the snake licked his lips. From his hiding place, he watched Mrs. Cluckety count her eggs. She was so excited. Soon she would be the mother of six fluffy yellow chicks. Willie the ant looked at the hungry glint in Sneaky's eyes. Then he was alarmed to see Mrs. Cluckety leave the nest and go to the pond for some water. Good morning, Mr. Gander. Your little fellow's looking well. Yep, he's a good eater. Any sign of your young and yet? Well, I hope they'll be hatched today. As soon as Mrs. Cluckety had gone, Sneaky moved to the nest. <laughs> this must be my lucky day. I've had frogs for breakfast and now eggs for lunch. If I ever sleep first, it'll settle the frogs. And then I'll really enjoy those eggs. Ooh, there's nothing so delicious to soothe a serpent's stomach. Willie held his breath as he watched six feet of black snakes settle on top of the eggs. Then he hurried away to give the alarm. Good morning, Muddles. Don't go far away today. I'm expecting my eggs to hatch. They'll be my first chicks, and we're going to celebrate. I must invite Duffy the horse and Beefy the bull. Those big fellows will have to be careful from now on. I must warn them to watch where they tread when the chicks are about. Hello, little fellows. What do you want? What's that? Hmm? Oh, my eggs? Oh, yes. I have six of them. They're in the nest. Hmm? Oh, what's that? Something on top of them. What is it? Oh, a snake. A snake? Oh, no! Mrs. Cluckety's feathers stood on end. She knew what would happen to her eggs when Sneaky woke up. But how could she attack Sneaky? How could she make him leave the nest? If there was a fight, the eggs could be broken. Mrs. Cluckety and her eggs were in real trouble. And she knew she had little time before Sneaky would open his mouth and those eggs would go down the slippery dip into the dining room. Duffy, help me quickly. There's a snake on top of my eggs. When he wakes, he's going to eat them. Oh, save them for me. Please save them. All right now, Mrs. Crockerty, calm down. <laughs> I'll fix him. I'll go over and bring my hook down on him. He won't come worrying anyone again. I can promise you that. But you'd break the eggs. That's no help at all. Oh. Well, if you know of a better way, then get him off the nest yourself. <laughs> Dear, who'll help me? Uh, I'll help you, Mrs. Cluckety. Uh, you leave that overgrown worm to me. Oh, Beefy, you can save my eggs. You won't tread on the snake. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll shove my horns underneath him and toss him from here to eternity. You'll never know what struck him. Oh, no! Oh, what's the matter now? You'd break the eggs. Stomping on him won't work. Digging under him with your horns won't help either. Well, well, then you'll have to think of a way. Uh, and don't forget, uh, never pick up a live snake unless he's dead. Oh, dear. My eggs, my chickens. What am I going to do? Psst, hey. He mustn't eat them. I've got to stop him. Psst, hi. But yes, who is it? Psst, hey, I know that bear. I do hear. Stop crying. You drowned in me. Oh, go away, Willie Ant. I'm in awful trouble. I know all about it, and I've come to help you. How could a little thing like you help me? You're just an ant. I might be an ant, but I'm not just an ant. And I know how to get rid of snakes. <laughs> I'll keep my uniform on, and you watch what happens. Willie the ant went to the anthill and gave an emergency call. From a hole in the ground, out came the whole army of ants. Hey, what's going on? Who uh, sounding the alarm? Uh, Willie, uh, it must be bad trouble somewhere. That's the signal to bring out all the troops. Good, good. I've been looking forward to some real action. Right, fellas. In a line. Quick me. Hurry up there. We have a dangerous mission. And time's running out on us. Company, stand at ease. Listen carefully. Sneaky the 
a snake. He's asleep on top of Mrs. Crackety's nest. When he wakes up, he's going to eat her eggs. We have to save them. We must get rid of him without harming the eggs. Now, Duffy the horse can't help. He's not a good old beefy the bull. So it's up to us. I want you all to follow me to the nest. Don't make a sound and surround the joint. Willie, do be careful. He's a nasty one, that sneaky. Take care of my eggs and take care of yourself too. Oh, he's got a snore on him like a rhinoceros. Everybody climb right up on top of him. That's it. Climb up and stand on his back. Action stations, everyone. Now we got him just where we want him. I'm going to count three. And when I count three, everybody bite. <laughs> and bite hard. Shh. Quiet. One. Get your mouth open. Two. Get your tongue out of the road. Three. Are you ready? All together. was no help, but you and your friends really did the trick. Ah, oh, Mrs. Craggedy, we might be little people, and the bit we do is only a little bit, but when we work together and obey the leader, boy, do we shift things. Hey, <laughs> do you hear what I hear? You're here at last. Oh, and you're beautiful. Hello, Mum. What's for dinner? So that's how Willie and the ants saved the eggs. And at Sunnybrook Farm, they all lived happily. Oh, yes? What about me? Well, you can't win them all. Ants. Ants. And all the low-down little beasts. Yuck. As I was saying, they all lived happily. Oh, keep quiet. The story's finished. Put on the last slide. There. Goodbye, all. Yeah. <laughs>